Hey beautiful people, it is time for another quick and dirty how-to. This time, we're going to be renaming USB audio devices. Because you might have two that you really like, but it's really hard to distinguish between them and Pavu Control. This is what I'm using now. You can see we have USB audio device mono listed twice because I have two for the input. Same with the output. So, this is wicked simple. Personally, it's something that should be in... Pavu control. The first thing we're going to do is make sure you have PA Man installed. We're going to launch that. If I can learn to type. There we go. That's just Pulse Audio Manager, depending on what distribution you have and whatever spin you run. Pretty easy to install. We're going to head over to the devices section because that's going to be your sinks. That's going to be output and sources. That's going to be your input because we need to modify the just USB audio device stereo or stereo 2 to something that mm, I don't know. You might find a little bit easier to sort out. So to our trusty terminal. Now I move. All right. Let's see. Let's in stretch in that. Yay. All right, we're going to run um, PackMD. We're going to update the sync prop list. That's all we're doing here. Now, you can see this is the CM106, which is... That's stereo out. These are the two, stereo and stereo 2, that need to be renamed. And what I've done here, I have tracked down... This is stereo 2. Just look down in the description, you'll find this. To copy and pasta. And you're going to plug in whatever device that you want to rename in this part. Then for your description, I've labeled it probably a comment that will get on this video. And I've just named it Re Jack is Better. Re. I didn't want to throw a hashtag in there. But as soon as we hit that, you saw what happened. Right there. Re Jack is Better. Re is now listed as an output device. Now, we still have the input issue, but that can be solved just as easy with, I use these, uh, one is for Jordan, one's for Pedro, if you watch our um, two shows that we do, because I just went down to sources and you want to just track down the same deal. So you would have, uh, Let's see, that's the 902. That is our hardware mixer. It's CM106, so then we have the stereo monitor, analog mono. So we would use analog mono or analog mono 2 in this case. This one's still named Pedro Input. Basically, the same thing, except instead of doing sync prop list, we're doing source prop. And if we execute that, we should now have Pedro input listed here. And you can do this a ton of times with all types of devices, not necessarily even if you need to rename two or if you just want to put them in something more human readable because like GK104, GM204, webcams, you know, I just know the you know, 2902 is the mixer, 106 is our um, 7.1 analog DAC and all these fun things, but one thing you do want to keep in mind is this will reset once you reboot. So, you know, you can have a little script um, that you want to set on launch. I just have a little file on Pulse where I can just tap this. And let's see, we can go, and I can launch that and that'll just automatically rename everything for me. So I have a Jordan input, Pedro input, Mixer input and all that business. So, easy as that. I think we did it in under five minutes. It's been brilliant. Found this useful. Check out um, LinuxGameCast.com. Uh, we got a couple of ways to support this nightmare fuel that we do each and every week. It's been brilliant. Um, go make some cool stuff. Bye-bye.